derived mainly from sugarcane and consumed by almost everyone in the world. And India is the second highest producer and exporter of sugar in the world. Today, in this video, we are going to look at the sugar industry, the second largest agri-based industry in India, which provides employment to millions of farmers and mill workers. But before we bring you this story, we urge you to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel India Business Insights for more such videos. Also, please make sure to press the notification bell. The Sugar Industry in India Sugarcane was grown in India from the Vedic period even though there are no reports of a well-organized sugar industry at that time. Atharva Veda 1500-800 BC has numerous references to sugarcane in India, while famous historians like Herodotus mention the crop in their works. Mention of the establishment of first sugar factories in India can be found as early as 1610 at Masuli Patnam and Koromandal coast and subsequently at Surat in 1912. In 1904, the first modern sugar processing unit was established at Saran in Bihar with the setting up of first vacuum pan process plant. The performance of the industry in this period was tepid. With the setting up of the tariff board in 1931-32, to the colonial government imposed a 185% import duty on sugar import and this was followed by a substantial increase in the number of sugar factories in the country. The number of factories rose from 29 to 137 between 1931-32 to and 1936-37. to A corresponding increase in sugar production happened from 1.61 lakh tonnes to 9.5 lakh tonnes in 1946-47 to during this period. During this period and until much later, a large portion of sugarcane was still processed by Jagri and Khandsari and other traditional manufacturing units. In the post-independence era, India made serious plans for the overall industrial development of the sugar industry. New research organizations were established, special programs were initiated to overcome the upcoming challenges like disease and pest incidents in this crop. By the end of the last century, the sugarcane area in the country increased to 4.4 million hectares with the cane yield touching 68 tonnes per hectare. Sugar production in 2000 was 18.2 million tonnes. The area under the crop increased over 300% from 1.71 million hectares in 1950-51 to to 4.841 in 2019-20. to The yield of sugarcane during this period has gone up from 40.5 million tonnes per hectare to 71.1 tonnes per hectare. The sugar recovery has gone up by around 10% from that during the 1950s and 60s. The growth of the sugar industry was also seriously hampered in the initial years due to the restriction on the sale of output by sugar mills. For several decades, sugar mills had to sell up to 70% of their output at unremunerative prices for the public distribution system. The balance could be sold in the open market. However, this could not always adequately compensate for the losses on sale to PDS. The return to profitability on the sugar industry and its subsequent growth happened with the progressive decontrol of the industry starting in the 1980s. A high level of modernization has taken place in the processing arena, enabling the sugar processing units to perform better, at the same time delving into product diversification. This has been possible due to the constant efforts of the sugar sector to evolve and excel and to become self-reliant to the maximum extent possible. India and Brazil produce roughly the same quantity of sugar, while Brazil is marginally ahead of India in terms of sugar production. India also produces other sweeteners such as jaggery and gur. With these included, perhaps India may even be a larger producer of sugar equivalents. India, with its very large demand and higher costs, has not been a large exporter of sugar for most of the years. It is only in the last decade or so that India has consistently had significant surpluses. Now we come to the world sugar production. In the given table, we can see the top 5 producers in the world, which includes Brazil, India, European Union, Thailand and China. Here we can see that India closely follows Brazil with an 18.1% of the total world share. Total sugar stocks worldwide. The sugar prices globally were much lower than in India. But for most of these years, and a little bit of export subsidy was needed to help Indian manufacturers export. This is the first time in several years when the global prices are remunerative enough to allow exports without the need for government subsidies. The Indian government limits the amount of sugar that can be exported through quotas to keep the domestic prices in check. Now we come to the overview of the Indian sugar industry. Indian sugar industry is the second largest agro-based industry after the textile industry. In India, sugar cane is planted thrice a year in October, March and July depending upon the part of the country. 
Most of the sugar production takes place at local cooperative sugar mills. We are the largest consumer of sugar in the world and second largest producer of sugar after Brazil. Here, from this table, it is clear that the production during the year, the imports, the total available supply, consumption as well as exports of sugar have all increased from 2017 to 18 to 2021 to 22. The Indian sugar industry has had very huge carryover stocks of sugar in the previous years. In the financial year 2018 to 19, they reached as much as 48.91% of the total offtake of sugar. This resulted in large inventory carrying costs and delay in the payment of gains due to poor profitability. Since then, the stocks have come down due to sharp decline in production during the COVID years, increase in exports, particularly during the current season, and also significant diversion to production of ethanol. The Sugar Industry Located in India Geographical distribution of the sugar industry in India is as follows. Uttar Pradesh is the leading sugar producer in India and has the most sugar industries in the country. The major centres of sugar production are around Gorakhpur, Basti, Deoria, Meerut, Gonda, Saharanpur, Bijnor, Muzaffarnagar and Muradabad. Bihar also has favourable climatic conditions for sugar production. However, there is lack of modernised plants and equipment and support from the government. Because of that, out of the 28 sugar mills present, only 9 of them are currently operating. The major centres are Samastipur, Gopal Ganj, Sita Mari and Champaran. In Punjab, out of 24 sugar mills, 16 are in the cooperative sector and 8 are in the private sector. The major centres of production are Fagwara and Dhuri. In Haryana, the private sugar mills crush approximately 2.6 crore quintals and the cooperative sugar mills crush over 3 crore quintals per year. The major centres in Haryana are Ambala, Rohtak and Panipat. Maharashtra has been contributing around 40% to the total sugar production in India. The major centres are Nashi, Pune, Sangli, Kolhapur, Satara and Solapur. Karnataka has 41 sugar factories distributed all over the states. The major centres are Munirabad, Mandya and Shimoga. Tamil Nadu contributes 10% of the total sugar production in India. The state has 41 sugar mills with 16 in the cooperative sector, 3 in the public sector and 22 in the private sector. The major centres are in Pugulur, Nalikupuram and Coimbatore. Green Smart Sugar Agro Complex, with an emphasis to produce green energy and other bio-based products apart from sugar, is the hallmark of the present-day sugar factories. Key players in the sugar industry in India First is EID Parry India Limited. This is a listed company engaged in the business of sugar and nutraceuticals. Headquartered in Dare House, a heritage building in Chennai, India, the company is a part of INR 369 billion Murukappa Group, one of India's leading business conglomerates. Second, Sri Renuka Sugars Limited. Sri Renuka Sugars is an integrated manufacturing company with a strategic focus on sugar and its allied products in power and ethanol. The company is principally engaged in the manufacturing and refining of sugar, ethyl alcohol and ethanol for the generation and sale of power. Bajaj Hindustan Sugar is Asia's number one and world's number four integrated sugar company. Besides sugar, BHSL is also a leading manufacturer of ethanol, the green fuel which stands to revolutionise India's fast-developing energy markets. 4. Balrampur Chini Mills Limited Balrampur Chini is one of the major integrated sugar manufacturing companies in India. The company mainly manufactures and sells sugar. Besides this, the allied business activities undertaken by the company primarily consist of manufacturing and marketing of ethyl alcohol and ethanol, generation and sale of power and manufacturing and sale of agricultural fertilisers. 5th, Triveni Engineering and Industries Limited. This company is a focused growing corporation having core competencies in the areas of sugar and engineering. Driven by product quality, engineering efficiency, technology and strong relationships, Triveni is one of the largest integrated sugar producers in the country. Next, here we can see some graphs on the revenue growth, EBITDA growth, EBITDA margin and we can see that the production peaked in 2018-19, to 19, thus it is likely that the profitability also increased during the same period. Next, we have charts on other interests as percentage of revenue and other expenses as a percentage of revenue. Next, we move on to companies' operations comparison. In ethanol and cogeneration, we see that Sri Renuka Sugars and Bajaj Hindustan 
are the leaders respectively. Next, we move on to the financial ratio comparison. This is done on the basis of MCAP, PB ratios, ROEs, net profit, net sales and debt to equity ratios. Here, it is evident that Sri Renika Sugars has the highest MCAP while EID Parry boasts the highest net sales. Next, we move on to the fair and remunerative price of sugarcane in the country. The various government measures have helped significantly in raising the level of sugar production in the country and becoming a self-reliant nation in sugar production. One such measure is the FRP. Under the FRP system, the farmers are not required to wait till the end of the season for any announcement of profits by sugar mills or the government. The new system also assures margins on accounts of profit and risk to farmers irrespective of the fact whether sugar mills generate profit or not. Also, the government is continuously trying to protect the interests of farmers through fair and remunerative prices FRP, which is the minimum price at which sugarcane is to be purchased by sugar mills from the farmers. The FRP has been doubled in the last 10 years. The Research and Development Network in Sugar Sector India has a very strong R&D network comprising of national sugarcane research institutions like ICAR, Indian Institute of Sugarcane Research at Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh, in the subtropical region and ICAR, Sugar Breeding Institute at Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu in the tropical regions. These research centres are funded by the state government, research institutes by private organisations and sugar mills, state agricultural universities and their research centres, etc. The entire R&D network forms the major source of well-trained and highly efficient human resource, thereby facilitating innovative and cutting-edge research in the areas of sugarcane improvement, production and management including diversification. These research institutions are well equipped to cater not only to the national demands for capacity building but also to the international stakeholders. In addition, there are institutions like National Sugar Institute, NSI, Kanpur and Vasant Dada Sugar Institute, VSI, Pune that impart quality technical education and also act as a rostrum to develop human potential to its greatest degree in the field of sugar processing alcohol technology and diversification. Indian government has always prioritized development in agricultural sector through a well-organized network of All India Coordinated Research Projects. On sugarcane, around 116 improved sugarcane varieties have been identified and approximately 60 varieties have been notified for commercial cultivation from 2000s till now. All of these have been developed by researchers in India and many of these varieties are under cultivation in large areas. One such example is the Cane's breed at Coimbatore that has spread to several parts of the world. The Coimbatore developed Cane's have been reported to be successful in around 28 sugar growing countries of the world, either as parental clones for developing location specific varieties or commercially cultivated varieties. Further, developments in terms of varieties and technologies including ICT-based technologies in the sugar sector led to a quantum jump in sugar production with a record production of 33 million tonnes in 2018-19. to Promising varieties like CO0238 that have resulted in an improvement of 102% sugar recovery during the period from 2012-2019-2020 to to are an example of how technological advancement in sugar sector has revolutionised the industry. Thus, India as a country has improved sugarcane varieties with desirable traits and thus there is no need for us to depend on any other country for sugarcane varieties. Next is quality seed production. The most important thing in sugar industry is seeds and their production. This task has been taken by research organizations and also in the farmers field. The research institutes under the Indian Council of Agricultural Research in collaboration with sugar factories ensure the availability of quality seeds to the growers. ICAR Sugarcane Breeding Institute at Coimbatore distributed about 1 to 4.5 tons of breeder seed to train farmers for quality seed production in 2020. Around 1200 tons of quality seeds were supplied to the sugar mills of Tamil Nadu. More than 1,62,200 tissue culture raised plantlets were distributed to sugar factories and to progressive farmers during that year. ICAR IISR Lucknow also has a well-established quality seed production program at Lucknow and every year approximately 8,000 quintals of quality seeds of the major sugarcane varieties are being produced and distributed. 
Besides, entrepreneurship development programs for quality seed cane production are being conducted regularly by such institutes for farmers to train them in seed production. Next is ICT in sugarcane agriculture. India is a major sugarcane growing country in the world with different zones having different climatic and other features. Therefore, the requirements for raising a good crop will vary to some extent in these zones. Location specific packages are needed and these should be developed in such a way that they are user friendly. The application of information and communication technology or ICT has been a significant step towards enhanced productivity and profitability in this crop. This has also facilitated an optimal and timely utilization of resources like human resources, nutrients and water thereby taking care of the sustainability factor also. GPS based techniques have helped in assessing location specific soil nutrient requirements of sugarcane growers. Further, developments in terms of varieties and technologies including ICT based technologies in the sugar sector led to a quantum jump in sugar production with a record production of 33 million tons in 2018 to 19. Next, we come to sugarcane industry and carbon footprints. Several studies have been carried out all over the world, especially in sugarcane growing countries like Brazil about sustainable green technologies in terms of CO2 emissions, carbon and water footprints, methane emissions, etc. that can be adopted in sugarcane agriculture. Estimation of carbon footprint in the sugar production chain has been reported under different situations in major sugar producing countries or regions like Brazil, Australia and the Philippines. Longer sustainability of soil sea level, crop productivity and production efficiency was documented as base value within specific conditions and with the assumption of 10 MW power exported from cogeneration an estimated value of 307 kg carbon dioxide equivalent per ton of sugar. The transition towards a green smart sugar agrocomplex with an emphasis to produce green energy and other bio-based products is the hallmark of the present day sugar factories. Imported technologies like green technology greatly reduced energy and equipment needs for sugar refining are being practiced by the sugar mills. The Indian sugar industry has been making use of these strategies both in the field as well as the factory in an attempt to lower its carbon footprints. Several incentives and directives are in place to facilitate such sustainable activities aimed at reducing the carbon footprint of the sugar industry. And under that, the state government of Uttar Pradesh has mandated a 33% of afforestation by adopting the Japanese Miyawaki technique which is expected to bring about a major curb in carbon emissions. Now we come to the position of Indian sugar industry. The sugar industry in India holds great relevance for the economy by saving huge amounts of foreign exchange by not importing sugar from foreign countries. Also, it earns foreign exchange which stands as an essential requirement for the development of the country. In India, the sugar industry occupies second place among the largest industries after the cotton industry. The top buyers as per the reports by the Indian Sugar Mills Association are China, East Africa, Malaya, Sudan, Iraq, Burma, Ceylon, Aden, Singapore and United Kingdom. In the last five years, it was seen that the private players in the sugar industry are exploring possible interventions in the industry using technologies for selling sugar at different e-commerce platforms. During the pandemic, a number of digital platforms and applications have emerged and these platforms are positively impacting the sector by facilitating the interactions of buyers and sellers without defaulting. These are helping the sugar industry to move forward into the future. The future prospects of the sugar industry in India are therefore very promising. Our country has a mission of E20 by 2025, which is a 20% ethanol blend in petrol and diesel. And to do so, sugar cane and sugar industry is the main part as most of the ethanol in the country is made by the sugar industries using surplus sugar cane. Today, India imports 85% of its oil requirement and to reduce the nation's dependence on imported fossil fuels, notably, government measures on increasing ethanol blending are providing structural change for the sugar industry. Sugar companies' profits are increasing in recent years because of the high ethanol demand in the country and to make this possible, India needs a total of 684 crore litres of ethanol by the sugar industry by 2025-26. to 26. For that, sugarcane equivalent to 60 LMT of surplus sugar would be diverted to ethanol 
This incredibly quick transformation requires collaboration between sugarcane growers, ethanol producers, domestic and foreign automakers, and environmental organizations. The World Sugar Prices It has been observed that in the last three years, world sugar prices have increased by almost 50%. Because of this, Indian government has stopped giving subsidies to sugar mills for exports. Sugar mills are also having a good time exporting sugars in international markets because prices are attractive. However, there are also certain restrictions that are put forward by the government. In order to prevent uncontrolled export of sugar or with a view of ensuring sufficient availability of sugar for domestic consumption at reasonable prices, the government has decided to allow export of sugar up to a reasonable limit with effect from November 1 till May 31, 2023. And because of the importance of sugar industry, government is keeping close watch on sugar sector, be it exports, ethanol blending or FRP. With this, we come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned and also don't forget to subscribe to IBR.